What's going on everybody? Brent Simmons here with Roofing Insights. Every year on this YouTube channel, we do a shingle comparison guide. And in that guide, we compare all the major architectural style shingles. You can call them architectural, you can call them dimensional, or you can call them shake style. And the reason they're called shake style shingles is because, believe it or not, the architectural shingles are supposed to look similar to that of a wooden shake roof. Well, there's also another style of shingle that we commonly refer to as designer shingles or slate style shingles. So in this video, I want to talk about two of the major asphalt slate style shingles that are out there. I've got a piece of real slate in my hand and I've got two synthetic real slate options. And you're probably wondering why I have a hammer. After we talk about these, I want to do a durability test on all these. So we're going to see how these synthetic slates, how these asphalt slate products stand up to the real deal. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanna cover are the asphalt style shingle samples I have here. Right here, this is an Atlas Stormmaster slate and this is a Certainty Grand Manor. Let's start with this one right here. For the longest time, this has been regarded as the heaviest, what well, has been the heaviest, most expensive asphalt laminated shingle on the market. And I've already destroyed this one because I wanna show you guys um, why it's so heavy. The sheer size of this. This is a huge shingle and it is essentially two solid layers with this added laminate added um, to the fascia here. So this is an extremely heavy weight shingle and um, it's been around for a while, but there's new contenders coming into the market. So this is an Atlas Stormmaster slate. Slightly different look to it. It's got a couple features that I really like. I've installed quite a bit of this myself. I've done both of these. Lower price point, but still good shingle. But I don't think either one of these quite do the job of emulating real slate like these synthetics do. So I've got a couple really interesting products. And before I get into them, I wanna talk about the, the, the weird space of synthetic slate. If you've ever been to the IRE, you'll see that there's a lot of these smaller companies that have invented crazy outlandish, but really unique products. And a lot of them are to simulate the real look of slate. So this is one, and I, th I believe this company's actually been around for a while, but this is called Euroshield. This is made out of recycled rubber. So essentially, you know, this is car tires that you're gonna put on your roof. It's much thicker than any type of asphalt shingle, and they've tried to emulate the rough edge that you can get out of slate. Now this sample in particular has a much rougher edge. You can get all sorts of different patterns and molds that they use to make this, but it's a pretty neat product. It's really heavy, but one of the things that this company claims makes it so good is that the impact resistance is amazing because again, this is rubber. So a pretty neat product. We're gonna test and see how this does um, against our killer hammer here in a minute. But this product is pretty neat. I've actually had some personal experience with this recently. I had a customer who had a real slate tile and like real slate over time, the little pieces on these edges here start flaking off and he had a bunch of slide outs and it was just starting to fall apart. So he wanted to go with something that is gonna last longer and look more consistent for a long period of time. So we ended up installing this and it was my first ever job and I'm actually really impressed with this product. This is called Inspire by Boral. Now Boral is a company that makes a lot of different tiles. They do barrel clay tiles, they, they do real clay. I think they've actually got real slate, but this is a synthetic slate product. And I was a little bit worried about, you know, maybe the color fading over time, but it looks like the whole thing is molded with the color in like in the raw material itself. So I don't believe fading is gonna be an issue. Their warranty talks about this and they seem to stand by it, but this is a really cool product. I wanna, before I move on to real slate, this, I just wanna show you a comparison of what this looks like. So this is real slate and this is a Boral Inspire sample board. If that was up on a roof, you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So hats off to Boral for doing that and really embracing the different natural colors that, that you can get out of real slate. Here's real slate. Uh, most natural slate is actually that larger size, like the Boral piece, but this 
is a special type of slate that uses a hanger system to hold it. Um, but again, even for this small size, it's extremely heavy. But this right here is the real deal. So now, now that we talked a little bit about the weight and why I keep on bringing up weight, I've got all the weights here of, of all these different shingles when they're installed. Weight is an issue when it comes to the framing of your home. Homes that have slate on them have to be engineered and built in a way to handle that weight. So a lot of the times if somebody wants, like let's say they have an architectural roof and they want to add real slate, they can't without actually adding framing members to their attics so it'll actually hold the weight. So I've got the weights here. The heaviest slate that you can get is the Vermont. Uh, it's, it's a natural slate. I don't have one here, but it's, it's larger than this. It comes in at 800 pounds per square, okay? This slate comes in at a whopping 550 pounds per square. The Euro Shield, surprisingly enough, even though it's made out of rubber, is still anywhere from 430 to 450 pounds per square. Still very heavy products here. Grand Manor comes in very close to the Euro Shield at 425 pounds per square. Storm Master comes in at a lightweight 230 pounds per square. And this Boral Inspire is by far the lightest per square at 180 pounds per square. So you can literally put this on any type of house to try to get that, that real slate look that you want. So now let's, let's do what everybody's been wanting me to do this whole video. Let's try to tear these up. Let's do a couple little tests. I want to drop them and then want to hit them with a hammer and test their impact resistance. Okay, whoa, 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 time out. What you're about to watch is a really extreme torture test on these shingles. Nothing like this should ever fall out of the sky, say, unless a airplane or something blows up above your house. So just keep that in mind when you watch this test. It's completely unrealistic. None of these products are really designed to handle anything like this, all right? With that being said, enjoy. So this is the moment you've all been waiting for. I know I promised you I was gonna beat the crap out of this with a hammer, but I wanna do more of a, we'll call this an unscientific um, redneck impact test. So I've got this trailer hitch right here with a ball on it, and I just wanna see how these hold up against something heavy hitting it, all right? To make this semi-scientific, I'm gonna make a 90 degree bend with my elbow. I'm just gonna drop it from this height every time. So let's start with the Storm Master Slate. Let's see how it does. All right. So this left a really nice dent in the shingle. You can see it didn't go all the way through, but it did leave a pretty good dent there. Overall, not bad. I mean, this is supposed to be an impact resistant shingle. I couldn't think of any type of hail that would be that heavy. So. That was pretty cool. Let's see how Grand Manor does. I'm gonna tr try to get it on the triple laminate part. Here we go. Oh yeah. So this left a pretty big dent. I mean, I can stick my whole thumbnail in that. Probably went through this laminated section. Nope. It didn't go all the way through. Pretty cool. Let's see how the Boral Inspire will stand up. These are the ones I am a little worried about shattering. We'll see. Okay. It left a little mark, but it did not go all the way through it. In fact, it looks like these ribs here actually kind of reinforce it. I want to try it again, but I want to come down a little bit lower, see if we get a different result. Okay, that's actually really not bad at all. So the other piece of slate would come down to about right here. So it really just depends on where it's hit here, but that is not a bad impact. And you can see it's like this absorbs all the impact uh, from the heavy object. Now this is Euro Shield. I'm going to try to go down towards the bottom of the tile again. Holy crap. So it literally bounces off. This is truly an impact resistant shingle. 
you can barely see i don't know if that even shows up on camera there's a tiny little line there and it almost feels like it's bouncing back up so their claim of being impact resistant i would say is 100 percent true now let's see what the real slate does i've got my glasses on so i think i'm good let's check it out all right there it is so this completely broke so all these synthetic slates that are claiming to be impact resistant so far i think they are far superior to this when it comes to that um, this is what was happening to uh, my customer's house he had a bunch of trees and he had a bunch of stuff a lot lighter than that actually falling on it it wasn't this actual tile i think it was a vermont product i'm not sure but it was it was extremely old there you have it folks we're actually going to be at the ire this year in las vegas so if you want to check out some cool products and maybe do some your own tests on these shingles i know a lot of the manufacturers have little balls you can drop on and stuff like that but either way if you go make sure you come to the roofing insights directory booth i'll be there demetri be there we'd love to meet you thanks